so I, I, I must confess, I saw uh, some of your videos uh, because... I'm so moved. <laughs> thank you for taking the time. No, I take very seriously yeah. my work. Yeah. yeah, even with people... You're a professional. Yeah, I am, yeah. I am definitely. Even with people which is less famous than I am. Yeah, yeah I, I, I respect, I respect. So I saw, I saw some of your videos and, and in, in, in your videos you talk a lot uh, about happiness mm. and joy and and you're almost as funny as I am. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> Let me give you some advice after yeah. the interview. Okay. I can help you. Yeah. Worry. Um, but I really want to understand how is it possible to be so different mm. from the rest of the world yeah. and still be happy? Yeah. Growing up, I was told that I had to pretend to be like everyone else in order to belong, that I had to closet not just my gender, or my sexuality, but my entire personality. And I was made to feel like if I didn't, if I expressed myself, then I'd be punished for it. But then I met LGBTQ people who taught me that I got to become myself, even if it made other people uncomfortable. And they gave me permission for me to live my best life right now. And so, my ability to be confident in myself is a direct response to the love that I've experienced from supportive community and allies who help me feel confident in my truth. That is so beautiful. That means that your happiness is like based in that you love yourself? Yeah. I didn't think self-love was possible because most people, by which I mean everyone else but us, hates themselves and calls that a personality. But I think actually one of the most powerful things we can do in our lives is focus on our own healing and recognize that life gets to be fun. It gets to be joyous. It gets to be spontaneous. Yes, it is. So, dear Alok, thank you so much. It was a beautiful conversation. My life has changed, honestly. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I suppose. <laughs> so, my dear Alok, thank you so much. I am so happy to have you here. Uh, thank you for your precious time. So, I brought you just as a small present from Colombia, oh from God. the neighborhood, uh, because the the guy that works in the bakery, so he he cooks. This is just a, a small a small present, you know. Like we are aunties, we are mothers, and we we care about others. So this is a pan de bono. Have you tried pan de bono? No, I haven't. So I don't want to touch it because it's yours, but pan de bono is delicious. Wow. Uh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> just a very fine present from. Chapinero, Colombia. <laughs> Thank you so much and see you later. See ya. This was Auntie Nohora, influencer for Sentido.